Hey everybody, I'm Gina Peek. I'm an associate professor in the College of Education and Human Sciences, and I'd like to talk to you today about making your own disinfecting solution. One of the problems is that commercially prepared disinfecting products are most likely unavailable at your local, local supermarket. People are, are buying these, and as soon as they hit the shelves, they're gone again. So you can make your own solution very simply with some ingredients that you might already have at home. So right here, I have Clorox brand bleach. And why this is important is that this is a disinfecting bleach. So if you take a look at the label, the label is going to tell you exactly that this kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Scented Clorox does not disinfect. So you want to make sure that you're reading that label and you're getting the disinfecting bleach. Um, I've got a measuring cup right here, some measuring spoons, and some water. All right, so I have a measuring cup right here, which measures up to one quart. I'm going to make one quart of solution. So I'm first going to pour in water. You can use water from the tap. I just happen to have this on hand. And I'm going to fill this. up to that quart line. And then I'm going to take and measure four teaspoons of bleach. One, two, three, and four. So you see it really doesn't take a whole lot of bleach to make this disinfecting solution. Then, for convenience sake, I can pour it into this bottle. So, regular spray bottle, and I would do this over a sink just so I don't splash it all over every place. So, you can see, with a little bit of water and a little bit of bleach, you can make a lot of disinfecting solution. If you would like to make even more, you can take a gallon of water and add one-third cup of bleach. That will give you a larger volume of disinfecting solution. Store it in a bucket, use it, and then discard whatever you don't use. Or if you choose to, you can also put it in a spray bottle. If you would like more information about how to create a simple disinfecting solution, visit the CDC website. 